This is Ryan Burkhart. Uh, I thought today I'd show you. I'm gonna do my first attempt at safety wire. So a lot of these uh, bolts on the Model A in certain areas have um, a through hole. And I don't know if you can see that there. But especially here, the first one I'm gonna be doing is the uh, flywheel housing. So I'm gonna safety wire these two and safety wire these two. So. A lot of misconceptions about safety wire, but really it's it's to to maintain the torque on the bolt. Even though we got lock washers here, we're going to pull in the direction. Um, so this wire is going to go this way, and this wire is going to go this way. As we tighten it up, it's going to hold those two um, in torque. So um, I'll take some video. And again, I'm not an expert, so always do your research. Um, I found a great couple videos online um, and there's a couple good Model A articles as well. Um, what I've got is I've got some uh, 41 thousandths stainless lock wire. Um, I got this locally. Um, I know a lot of the Model A vendors sell lock wire. Um, I guess the key is you want it to be stainless um, and I found from my research that about uh, 40 or 41 thousandths is ideal. So. Um, but again, do your research. There's a lot of good resources out there, and I'm sure you'll be successful in your project. Okay, so now I'm going to do the safety wire and show you how it works. Uh, I did the opposite side just for practice. Um, again, I did my research. So now I'm going to measure the wire I need. So before I just kind of went around both those like that. and. Wire. So I'm using um, these um, pair of side cutters. I don't have a pair of safety wire pliers. I found that this works just fine, but uh, if you want to be professional and you're going to do this every day, you might want to get those. So again, here's my length of wire. And so what we want to do is we want to kind of plan this out. This one we want to pull this way pull this way and this one we want to pull this way. So we're going to start down here and we're going to go in through that hole. Like so. Now, because I want to pull it this way, I'm going to want to go, uh, let's see if I remember, I'm going to want to go around this way like this. And I want to go underneath underneath this this one here so it doesn't pop out so as you can see you got that now what you want to do is you want to I'm gonna come up here actually you want to pull that as tight as you can okay so now what we want to do is we want to plan where we're going in so we're pulling this way and we want to come up here and pull this way so for this one I'm trying to see where the hole is. The hole is way back over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of gauge this and say, you know what, I need to come into this hole. So we're going to pull down. So I'm going to be, oh, and that's kind of coming off there. Let's get that, get that back down. Pull tight. Okay, so, oh, see how that came off? So that's not, that's not right. So we gotta go the opposite way. Uh, still learning here, guys. Let me rethink this here. That. And then when I pull that, that's gonna be just fine. So I wanna come up to that hole and that's where I'm gonna do my twisting. So if you can see that, I'm gonna line that up about where that hole is. And that's where I'm gonna put my pliers. Okay, all right, now here we go. And I'm gonna start twisting. And I'm pulling tight as I twist. And you can see 
the research I did said about seven twists per inch. So I'm just getting it to, to look pretty consistent and tight. You can see how nice and tight that's gonna be. And that's not gonna come off, okay? So now we're gonna let that go. So now we've got that and it's gonna pull on that down there. All right, now that we got it twisted, we're going to go through the hole here. So we're gonna put this in through the hole and we're gonna pull it tight. And you can see how that really tightens up when you do that. So now this one, we're gonna bring around. Right now I'm gonna get these twisted together again pulling tight. Now you want to go in the opposite direction so it holds that nice and stiff. Um, so hopefully this was helpful and hopefully it works out well for your project as well. Once we get these nice and tight, I'm going to do a lot tighter than here, probably twice as much. And then we're going to cut it off and that's really nice and tight. We're going to cut it off and then we're going to bend it up out of the way. And that's it. And then so hopefully this will help you with your project.